My name is Xenia Gabriela Florence Sophie Iris, Princess of Saxonia. I am Princess Vanoji Shaila Sindrela and Sali. I'm Princess Alia Sultana Babi of Palasinor. And I am single. Three single princesses looking for true love. I am honest. I'm very easygoing. I am faithful. Fat loving. I love the world. I love the world. Someone who shares their interests. A lot of people say she's, she's ugly, but she's my best friend. My favorite films are Slumdog Millionaire, The Devil Wears Prada, Gone with the Wind, etc. I love children, they're my best friends. And we're best friends, no? We're best friends. Somebody British. I like Hugh Grant. Prince Harry and William. Hugh Grant. Sean Connery. I want to match Robbie Williams. Prince Philip. And so they've left their kingdoms behind and come to England to find true love. To ensure the people they meet love them for themselves and not their royal title, the princesses have gone undercover. Oh, that's sexy. I'm here for true love yeah. and the people that love me for myself. I always believe in destiny. If my destiny is in England, <laughs> I don't know. So far, they have had mixed fortunes in their search for the perfect match. Cheers. It's not in my nature to approach guys. I can't do it. I play basketball. Really? <laughs> now they have just one week to find the man of their dreams. I had no idea that it was going to be proved so difficult for me to get the dates. He gave me a, a peck on the lead. I feel like shy. You're my favorite British person ever. Yeah? Yeah. Yay. Before they reveal their true identities. My full name is Princess Xenia. Yeah. Princess Xenia. What do you think? And invite a chosen one back to their kingdoms. I'm inviting you to come to India. Why don't you come to, with me to Germany and see my world? This is the story of the undercover princesses. Princesses are running out of time if they want to find the man of their dreams in the UK. Yesterday they hosted a barbecue in an attempt to meet more men. Good morning. Good morning. What did you think of the barbecue? You know, it's the craziest moment for me. Yeah. When Elliot, James, and Reese playing Twister together. It was like. Oh! So that the people they meet like them for themselves and not for their titles, the princesses have been posing as ordinary girls. While Princess Alia has kept her own name, Princess Ksenia has been using the undercover name Gabby. And hoping to find her Prince Charming, Princess Shayla has renamed herself Cinderella. You want a drink? Um, yeah, nice. So far, Gabby has been on two successful dates. One with hairdresser Elliot, who she met at work, and the other with Fireman James. Go on, honey. He's a very nice guy, and we have a lot of fun, and it's very cool. But at the barbecue, someone else caught her eye. Take care. I'll call you. Bye. Shy Alia has only been on one date. Weather hasn't been up too much, has it? And overall, has struggled to get to grips with Western-style dating. The place I come from, it's not the girl who does the approaching. That's one of the reasons, I think, which uh, uh, I'm still holding back. And amazingly, picky Cinderella met basketball star Paul in the supermarket. See you mushroom lover like me. And now has a strong contender to take home. I just met my playmate. If all dates are going to be like this, ooh. Today, Cinderella has a second date with favourite Paul. Of all the dates I've heard here, he's, he has the first place because he has more of the qualities I need than the other dates I've had. Oh, Paul. Hi, Cinderella. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Fine. Paul Good. is taking Cinderella for a picnic. 
By the end of this week, the princesses hope to invite a partner back to their kingdoms. So this date is another chance for Cinderella to find out if Paul could be the one. So where's... This is the blue chairs. I thought it was blue. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I've not eaten this before. It has chili in it, right? Thank you. I love chili very much. It's too tasty. You know, you 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 trapped me <laughs> when you put chili in this food. Trust me. Thank you, Paul. You're welcome. It's nice. <laughs> I am Princess Mvanonji, Shayla, Cinderella, and Sali of the Kingdom of Buganda. 31-year-old Princess Shayla is from the largest and most powerful kingdom in Uganda. Everyone knows me, maybe because of what I do. Somebody may read you in the newspapers, and then somebody will see a picture in the video, then somebody else will hear you on the radio. Princess Shayla's fame has reached even greater heights, as she also has a pop star career. Tomorrow a tabloid will call to know something about you when you say, when you refuse to answer, they'll watch what they think. As one of the most famous women in her country, the princess has found it difficult to find love. I'd like to meet somebody who loves me as me. Not because I'm a princess, not because I'm a celebrity. So I'd like somebody to love me the way I am. <laughs> you sure you're not happy to see me? Yeah, I'm... I'm... Extreme happy. I'm happy to see you again too. Mm. a peck on the leaf and I, I feel like shy. <laughs> I get to like Paul more and more every day. When I'm with him, I just don't want him to go. <laughs> this is lovely. It's lovely. If I have a chance to have her in my life, I think I would grab it. While Cinderella's search for love is blossoming with Paul, shy Alia has not yet had any successful dates in the UK. Yeah. Gabby thinks internet dating could be a solution <laughs> and is writing Alia's profile. Alia is such a lovely and beautiful person, one of my best friends and an intelligent and brave woman. She has no... I think it's better than going to bars and pubs and try to find a date. I think this is a much more better, part, better option. But just hope that it's successful. Not be, not be shy. Thank and confidence. You. You're welcome, baby. With just a week left to find her Prince Charming, Alia needs to find a date soon, or she'll be going home alone. It feels very strange doing this. I had no idea that it was going to be proved so difficult for me to kind of uh, get the dates. I don't know what, what may come off. Let's see. While Alia's search for Mr. Wright continues, Cinderella is getting ready for her second date of the day with Paul. Mm. Uh. Mm. To help with her butterflies, she is relying on an ancient Ugandan tradition, eating clay. Mm. It just comes you. So when I'm like confused and onto something, I just take my clay, relax, and trust me, I'll just, just get a solution. <laughs> After a romantic day in the park, Paul's taking Cinderella for a night on the town in Essex. Taking Cinderella out to see her moves. <laughs> her Caribbean moves. <laughs> I'm not Caribbean. Well, yeah, you're a Caribbean. No, I'm not Caribbean. I'm... Okay. Uh... 
I'm African. Okay, well, you would become a Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> It's too early to know who he is. He may turn out to be more than a boyfriend or less than a date. <laughs> Being undercover is giving Cinderella a whole new freedom to get close to a man. <laughs> he got naughty. A little naughty. A little? Yeah, I got a little. I got very naughty. <laughs> It's 4 a.m. and Cinderella is still not home. We can't sleep. And we're waiting for her. Lady Cindy. <laughs> Cindy just vanished into the living room with Paul. With Paul. And she didn't even bother to say hello to us. What's this? You go. No. You go. 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 Definitely that she not make something naughty. She's a good girl. <laughs> no way, yeah, let them be. Please sleep for 30 minutes here. Don't go here in this chair. In the sofa here. <laughs> Cinderella. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's five in the morning when Cinderella finally lets Paul go. As Gabby hopes to pick someone to take home with her by the end of the week, she has set up two dates today. Later, she'll date new boy Reese, who she met at the barbecue, but first, she is going out with Elliot. I'm looking forward to spending definitely more time with Elliot because I must make a choose, and at the moment, I've not the feeling to put someone in my home and my privacy. Knowing her love of animals, Elliot is hoping to win over Gabby's affections with a trip to the zoo. That's the cutest I'm thing I ever saw in my life. What about the sloth? There was two sloths somewhere. I want to have one. He's so cute. Let's have a look at bigger monkeys. Yeah. Bye, little monkey babies. Spider monkey! <laughs> cool! I love, yeah. monkey. I love monkeys. They've got the worst bumps. Yeah. Look at the eyes oh, weeing. What? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> My full title is Xenia Gabriela Florence Sophie Iris, Princess of Saxony and Duchess to Saxony. And I'm proud of it. <laughs> In her native Germany, Princess Xenia has struggled to find true love. What I don't like is when guys that I say, okay, I'm a princess, they think, ah, oh, the character is, doesn't matter. She's, she's rich, she's beautiful, and she's a princess. Whoa, <laughs> well. Princess Ksenia is searching for someone who truly loves her for herself and not for her royal title. Thank you very much. Sorry for disturbing. Sorry for disturbing. I'm searching for a boy that loves myself and loves my character and not for I'm a princess and she is hoping her perfect man will be in the UK. A man must be gentleman and funny. It doesn't matter if he's tall or small or big or thin. It's the inside, it's the character that makes people who they are. So pretty. Hello. Oh my God. Hi, he's pretty. Cutest. Yeah. Uh, go on in. She does it, I'll do it. <laughs> he's tickling. Yeah, he smells your hand. Uh, yeah. I really enjoy Gabby's company. <laughs> She's a cool girl. I think we're having fun. 
To remind Gabby of their special date, Elliot has bought her a keepsake. His name is Elliot the monkey. <laughs> Elliot the monkey. Elliot the monkey. It's the cutest thing ever a man gives me. Really? Yeah. It's the best monkey in the world. Elliot is very lovely and sweet. I'm very happy and yeah, it's, it's a, such a good day. We saw the little, little cutie monkeys. Maybe we're monkey friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Monkey! <laughs> you can guess who will give it to me. The monkey friend. Yeah, my monkey friend. Elliot. Yay! It's the cutest thing ever. So how do you feel about it? Yeah, I don't know. I've, I've had feelings for him, definitely, but I don't know if it's friendship or it's a little and bit then, more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great, he's sweet. Mm -hmm. While Gabby and Cinderella's love quest is going from strength to strength, Alia is still struggling. Her internet search has not paid off and she has no new dating leads. I definitely am feeling pressurised, but at the same time it's just that I can't just approach any person. With just three days to go to find a man before they return home, Gabby and Cinderella think that speed dating could be the answer for shy Alia. They are coming to you, you are not on that pressure to approach yeah. them, and then they will have to talk about themselves fast. Yeah? Is it or, something like uh, how we are sitting right now? I have no idea. And Gabby is going to show her how it's done. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Gabby. Okay, um, I like food, I like roses, and... Uh, <laughs> Do you drink? Yes. Do you smoke? Yes. Next. Have a girlfriend? Yes. See you later. <laughs> Next! <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I have never done it before. It's like I can't... Uh, I mean, I can... Hi, hello, how are you? Girl? Hello, I can do that. that. You're much better than me. But say, One, two, three. I, I, I've, I've, I've... My official title is Nawab Zadi, Alia Sultana Babi of Balasanor. At 35, Indian princess Alia has not found her Mr. Right. But she's not giving up hope. If he's destined to come, then he will come on a white horse. But as I always uh, joke with my friends and family, I always say that my prospective suitor is coming on a lame horse. That's why he's taking so long to come. A true romantic, Princess Alia is hoping that she will find her ideal man in the UK. If I'm going to choose someone, he has to be someone who will love me for myself, not for anything else. So I think love is very important, because without love, one can't survive. Who's found love? Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> if I got married to Paul, you're calling us. I'd invite. Hey, come on! Me? I'd invite you. <laughs> we'll be the bridesmaid. Yes. <laughs> With Cinderella oh, fixed on Paul and Gabby looking forward to another date tonight. Oh, I have a date. I have a, I have a date with Reese. Mm -hmm. He's a man. Reese is interesting. Mm -hmm. Before you even go out for <laughs> a date, <laughs> the girls hope Alia <laughs> has some luck at the speed dating. To a successful like, speed dating. Oh, yeah. 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 Alia! My makeup! With only three days to go, the princesses haven't got time to waste. Bye, girls! As Gabby heads off to her date Alia. with Reese, Cinderella and Alia are getting ready for speed dating. I am nervous because I've never done it before. So when I start talking to men, when I think, you know, should I pop the question or something, I think that's the time when I'm like kind of nervous and I said no. I shouldn't do it. <laughs> Cinderella is going along to support Alia, but still intends to give the men a good Daddy, grilling. Do you drink? Do you smoke? Are you educated? Are you God fearing? Do you have a child? Those are the questions that I want to ask. Hey. Hello! Hi, darling. Are you all right? Nice to see you. Hey, you looking lovely. Mwah. Thank you. Mwah. Gabby and Reese oh, yeah. are having an early sitting in a quiet That's restaurant. <laughs> What's a monkfish? Just a, it's like a type of fish. Like monkey. No, 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 it's not, it doesn't look like a monkey, no. Monkfish. It's just called monkfish, yeah. <laughs> Unaware Gabby is a princess, Reese is straight in with his Essex boy charm. There's one German sentence that I know, and it's a really corny sentence. But it's a handy one to know. Yeah? Ich liebe dich. Oh. <laughs> That's the only sentence. so lovely. <laughs> As Reese tells Gabby he loves her, Cinderella helps Alia look for her own love at speed dating. How are you? I'm good. Good, good, good. 
Where are you from in there? Gujarat. Gujarat, yeah? Been long in England? Two weeks. Two weeks, yeah? You missing India? I miss the food. The vegetables are very fresh out there, aren't they? Yes. They're not chemicalised in any way. I'm Steve, by the way. Steve? Yes, yeah, Steve. Cinderella. Cinderella. Mate, I'm crap at spelling. You have to spell that. Can I just make it up as a... C-I... C-I-N-D-E... D-R-E... So I guess Indian food is definitely very popular in England. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think it's the second uh, biggest taker in the UK. Yeah. Let's be nice to meet you. Same here. Thank you. Yeah. Definitely a big no. Not my type. Definitely. I found it was too rough. While speed dating is drawing a blank for Alia, and Cinderella can't find anyone for her either. I mean, last year I was reading the paper that bottled water wasn't healthy for you because it's so purified that took all the goodness out of it. Yet again, Gabby is having a successful date. With your sex <laughs> Maybe we can go tomorrow for playing tennis. I've tried to wear a yeah? sexy tennis skirt. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a very good idea. <laughs> I'll do the same. <laughs> Let's play tennis. Nice one. Cool. And I'm gonna win, obviously. Uh -uh. <laughs> She's a stunning girl, like, you know, I can't... What can I say? Very attracted to her, yeah. Good, good stuff. I'm very interested about the tennis tomorrow. With my sexy tennis skirt. <laughs> Such a lovely boy. <laughs> As Gabby secures a second date with Reese tomorrow, back at speed dating, Cinderella and Alia are interviewing more potential love interests. Hello. Hi there. I didn't get your name. Tim. Tim? Yeah. Oh, okay. Your name is? Alia. Hi, Alia. Nice to meet you. I don't have a list of questions. You don't have it in? No. Is there anything? Can you I borrow yours? <laughs> <laughs> Now I can see you drink. Yeah, I like a beer now and then. Okay, you smoke? Uh, yes, I do smoke, yes. That was very scared. Yeah. Just as she thought anyway. speed dating was also going to be a failure, Alia has finally met someone she likes. I'm going to London tomorrow. Right. Okay. Would you like to show me London? Yeah, I would, I would very much like to come out and show you okay. London. Have you... I, I need to check with work. Okay. And then, uh, if I can, that's fine. Yeah, I'd love to. Okay. Yeah. And um, can I have your number or you take my number? <laughs> At last, Alia has taken the plunge. For the first time in her life, she has asked a man out on a date. I got my first date on my own. I kind of asked a guy, which I can't believe I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Speed dating! <laughs> Back at the house, Alia can't wait to tell Gabby her news. Alia is going to London tomorrow. <gasps> With him. He's cute. He I'm sure you'll like him. And he comes to, you, to your table and what he says? He comes and he's like, uh, hello, introduces himself and then he says, oh, I have a list of questions on a paper. So I said, oh, I don't have a, can I have yours? <laughs> Can you believe I said that? I'm so proud of you, then. <laughs> While Alia is excited, Gabby's successful date with Reese has left her with a dilemma about who to take home to her kingdom. I'm very, very confused. Yeah, I like Elliot still. But maybe Reese is the, the best decision. I have no idea. It's at the moment I feel so confused. <sighs> It's a big day for Cinderella, as it's Paul's birthday, and she's taken him away for a romantic night in Southend. So I think he will definitely like my present, <laughs> because he's not expecting it anyway. Mm, I'm a good dropper! <laughs> Gabby also has a date today. She is going to play tennis with Reese. At the moment, it's uh, Elliot versus Reese. Um, today I go to play tennis with Reeves, so it's his second chance to um, to impress me. At speed dating yesterday, Alia made a first date with Tim, but she's had some bad news. Unfortunately, Tim can't make it, 
uh, because um, uh, his work, uh, he's got work today, he can't get the day off. Not giving up on finding someone, she's agreed to go on another blind date in London. Thank you. <laughs> Cinderella and Paul are on their way to South End. As Cinderella is living undercover and doesn't want Paul to know she's a princess, she's arranged for them to stay in a budget B and B. <laughs> wow. There's no view of this here. Thanks for the starting of a beautiful day. Thank you. <laughs> I think we, we, you know, we have a bond. We just feel so free with each other. It's like we've known each other for quite a long time. <laughs> we, just, we just have a bond. But I just want him to have the best of his birthday, you know. I just want him to be happy, real happy. As Cinderella and Paul head out to explore South End, Alia has arrived in London to meet her blind date, Mark. Good to meet you. Alia. Nice to meet you, Al. Same, yeah. Seat. Yeah. Have you gone out on blind dates before? Never in my life. And this must be pretty cool for you. Like, are you, is your family sort of into arranged marriages, or are they... <laughs> yeah, very much. Really? <laughs> very much arranged marriages. Mm -hmm. I can show you around if the weather is good and... <clears throat> okay, stuff. that would be fine. Mark is unaware that Alia is a princess, but she is keen to find out what he thinks about royalty. Do people still in England have the same kind of love, respect and adoration for the royal family? Um, some people do. I personally don't, because a lot of them just act like a bunch of idiots all the time. No, I don't really have a lot of time for the royal family, but they're not very powerful anyway. They can't influence the government. They, okay, yeah. It's yeah. just more that they're born into fame and the queen has to wave like this. But still, it is something. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know my true identity. Uh, he doesn't know that maybe if my father would have written to the Queen, I'm sure I would have been able to go to Buckingham Palace. So if Mark would have come to know that I can have access to the Queen, I'm sure he would be shocked. Got it? How's that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Despite Mark's royal faux pas, Alia's enjoying his company. Definitely my day has been good. He is someone very nice, very warm, very friendly. She has a lovely smile. Yeah, she's a bubbly personality. She's a cool girl. Uh, Mark has asked me for my number, which I've given it to him. Because I felt that, okay, someone is definitely interested in me. So, yeah, I felt, I felt great. I think, as I said, my confidence level has definitely gone up. And um, yeah, it, it really feels nice when a guy asks you for a number and I would never give my numbers to just about anyone. As Alia's love quest finally blossoms, Cinderella and Paul's relationship is going from strength to strength in South End. Let yourself fall, don't study it. Just close your eyes. Cinderella, just relax yourself and let yourself fall. That's all you have to do. <laughs> Are you no, okay? no, 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 I feel like I want to be with Paul all the time. It's lovely being around him. He's a gentleman. While Cinderella and Paul only have eyes for each other. Wow. 
Gabby has two men competing for her heart, Elliot and today's tennis date, Reese. And she's kept her promise of a sexy little skirt. Very nice, I like it. So let's go. Let's play German, some tennis. German, German, versus England. Yes, is it? Da, da, da. Eyes on the ball. When you're serving, you aim to get it in the opposite box. If you can imagine, if you're in this side. Box. Or in the big box. <laughs> oh, he's very sweet. It's a good trainer. Hey, it was good. Oh. Yeah. In full C, she's never played before and uh, keeps missing the ball and get to my point and I'm like, try and let her win. Come on, Reesey boy. Show me what you got. <laughs> I know that he let me win, but it's sweet. But he's a good boy, and so he makes me happy today. Maybe she's attracted to me. I'd like to think so. But uh, I'm certainly attracted to her. It was a pretty cool day. Today's tennis date yeah. has made Reese a strong contender with Elliot, leaving Gabby a difficult decision to make. Yeah. yeah. The decision between Elliot and Reese is not finished. I don't know. It, I'm so confused. It's so <sighs> nice guys. Back in South End, aware that their time together in the UK is soon coming to an end, Paul is keen to know how Cinderella truly feels. How do you feel about me? So how do you feel about me? I feel I'm, I'm fond of you, glad to be around you, and much more which would I, I wouldn't say. Much more which you won't say? Exactly. So why don't you say the much more? When you answer my question, <laughs> as you're supposed to answer it, I would say it's, the rest. That's a revenge. No, that's not a revenge. It is. You could try to hide your feelings. But your eyes can't hide them. <laughs> it's not long until Cinderella chooses a man to take back to her kingdom, and she seems to have made up her mind. you a light one. Good boy. I love her, I care about her. Every time I spend a little time with her, it just a feeling it just grows. I've never felt this way, definitely before. I think he's in love with me. Yeah. I think truly I'm falling in love with Paul. Talk and kiss and talk and kiss. Yeah. He did not even touch me at night. He never. We just slept. He's a gentleman. This morning is the first time she ever looked me in my face and said, I love you. Two times she said it. I feel I love him. I love him. He has opened my heart because I had closed my heart for some time for so long. Smile. You see? <laughs> You're just stupid. I won't let you go. I can spend the rest of my life right here. Freezing to death. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a lady. <laughs> really? 
Give me five. Kiss five. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She she had a kiss. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. After a blissful night away with Paul, Cinderella can't wait to share some amazing news with the girls. He wants to marry me. I'm in love with him. I'm in love with Paul. <laughs> but falling in love with someone outside her royal lineage will not be easy. I don't know what will happen when I take him home. You can try it. Oh. At least give it a try, yeah. So Maybe they love them so much that they say it doesn't matter everything. But when he comes home, he will not have the fun like he has had with me here. He will never walk with me on the street. Yeah. He can never hold my hands. Why not? Orthodox family. But it's love. <laughs> love, you don't know what happens with me. I'm holding two flags, my dear. I Those are things I cannot do in public. <laughs> so I'm, <laughs> I'm very okay here, very free, but when I go home, it's like I'm in prison. As Cinderella worries for her future with Paul, Alia is going on a second date with Mark. She wants to find out if he might be the one to invite back to India, and they are going go-karting. Hey, good to Hello, see you again. How, How are you doing? You? I'm good. Good to see you. I'm feeling like a six-year-old right now. <laughs> I'm feeling all excited and ready to roll. Just try it. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, Brian. There we go. Yeah, you're in. Okay. There you go. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, just try it. It's not going to kill God, you. Um, I, I feel claustrophobic. Oh, I, <laughs> why don't you just go ahead? I'll watch you. Okay. You <laughs> can cheer me before on. You, before you get you started, and then if you want to try again, you I'll, try I'll, again. I'll do that. Try. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. do that. I can't put my helmet. I'm claustrophobic. I so desperately wanted to do this, but because of my being claustrophobic with the helmet, I couldn't do it. Uh, I don't know how Mark felt about me. Sorry for being a disappointment. No, you weren't a disappointment <laughs> at all. So now yeah. what do we do from here? I'll give you a text. I'll try and catch up another day when I've got more time. Okay. So you let me know and uh, I will if possible, do, yeah. yeah, we'll definitely meet up. Yeah, totally. Lovely seeing you. Okay, and, um, bye. Yeah. Yeah. See, you See you, bye. Once again, things haven't quite worked out for Alia, as her date with Mark didn't go as well as she hoped. By tomorrow, each princess must decide who to invite home to their kingdoms. And tonight, Gabby has arranged a final date with Elliot to help her choose between him and Reese. Hello. I hope that I'll be able to decide tonight. I must be able to decide tonight. It's really, really good fit and good feeling to know that they're, they're definitely the first guys in all of the time of my life that 100% just like me for who I am. Nice to see you. We're in partner. We're matching. Apple Freunde. Oh, I like it. That's a Wookiee. That's Chewbacca. That's Star Wars. I've never ever done that on a day. I've done. <laughs> Across town, Cinderella is also having a date with Paul. Love sick. Let's make one day a tattoo, a monkey tattoo together. On our bums. <laughs> You're my favorite British person ever. Yeah? Yeah. Yay. She's going home quite shortly. Um, I'm trying not to think about it much. It's going to be a bit disappointment. This is a love date. <laughs> that was a really, really nice uh, dinner. Thank you. Thank you. It was good company. Yes. Bye. Bye. Thank you. When I go home, I will miss Elliot. He's in my heart. He's he's. We're like soul bodies. I don't know. It's. 
I really love him. <laughs> Come on. After three weeks of living undercover in the UK, tomorrow the princesses must reveal their royal status. And they are worried about how their chosen partners will respond. Mark is the only contender whom I can take back to India. I don't know how Mark is going to react after I tell him who I am. Now the undercover time is over and tomorrow everything comes out and this is another very exciting part of all this time because I think this will be the hardest part to tell the truth and... <sighs> I've really given him a picture that I am nothing, I am nobody. I'm just a very simple girl. So, I don't know. I don't know really what I'm going to do but I have to reveal it. Today, the undercover princesses must reveal their true identities and invite their chosen partners back to their kingdoms, hoping that their relationships will continue to flourish. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Having initially struggled to find romance in the UK, Alia has now had two dates with Mark. Hi, Mark. Need to speak to you about something, so text me back as and when you're free. Thanks. Take care. I'm very anxious to tell him who I am. Gabby has been successful on the dating scene and has two contenders to choose from, <laughs> Elliot and Rhys. My name is Xenia Gabriela Florence Sophie Iris, Princess of Saxony, <laughs> so I'm a princess. And amazingly, Cinderella has fallen head over heels in love with Paul. Oh, oh my. I'm supposed to do this. I'm doing everything wrong. It's because I'm nervous. I feel so... So scared to break the truth, yet I cannot live with it anymore. I have to tell Paul, but I'm nervous. I don't know his reaction. I love your dress. Just what is it for a cute animal in front of your dress? Is it a cat? <laughs> no, it's a cab. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's a young of a leopard. It's a meow. <laughs> it's a meow. Which noise make it? <sighs> Do you need help? This is not a monkey. You love monkeys. Is it a monkey? No, it's not. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you nervous? I am. I am. I am nervous. Are you? Mm, not. I think not so like you. Mine is involves somebody's heart. So I, I am a little nervous. Truly, I am. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just pray for me. Mark has not uh, replied to the text I sent him, maybe because he, uh, uh, the school has just started and he could be busy, so he's not replied as yet. With no reply from Mark and just 24 hours until she returns to India, Alia may not invite anyone back to her kingdom. Uh, we, we were here to find true love, but uh, I, I always believe in destiny. If it has to happen, it'll happen. So I, I didn't find my Mr. Right here in England, so I think, um, uh, I, but I made some wonderful friends here. The time has come for the princesses to reveal who they really are to their chosen ones. Yeah, I'm very nervous. I have butterflies in my belly. I hope he likes me the same Xenia like Gabby before. As Mark didn't reply, Alia has decided to go and reveal her true identity to the Essex girls she made friends with in her first week. Okay, now guys, before we go any further, I need to tell you a bit of truth. What? Come on then. <laughs> ready? I'm ready. Ready? Yeah. My name is Alia. Yeah. But my title is Princess Alia. Princess? Princess Alia. Alia. Oh! oh I am Princess Alia Susanna Babi of Balasinor from of India. <laughs>
Yeah. I wouldn't have guessed at actually all. actually no. fell hook, line and sinker for this. If I'd have known she was a princess beforehand, because I'd have thought, oh my God, what am I going to say? What am I going to do? But, you know, you just have to be yourself, don't you? And we got on fine. So, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad I know now, but I'm probably glad I didn't know to start with. Do you even have money? As Alia hasn't found a man to take home to her royal kingdom, she has a surprise for Emma. You know, the purpose of my coming to England was to find my Mr. Right, to find the perfect English gentleman. Yes. But in the process, I made some wonderful friends here. And I've got a surprise for you. I'm inviting you to come to India. <laughs> I, want you to, I want you to come to India and experience my culture, my life. I've never been to India. So uh, come, come and be a princess. <laughs> oh, thank you. It'll be lovely. Yeah? Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> She's just asked me to go to India and uh, spend a few days in the palace <laughs> with the uh, other royalty. Yes, it's shocked. And I'm very glad that I made these uh, wonderful friends just for my, just with my name and uh, my personality, not with my title. After a week of deciding between Rhys and Elliot, Gabby has finally made her decision. Okay. Nice to see you. <laughs> Sit down. All right. There's All right. something I want to tell you. Okay. My first name is not Gabby. No. <laughs> okay. My name is Princess Xenia Gabriella Florence Sophie. It is Princess of Saxony and Duchess to Saxony. What? I'm a princess. I'm yeah. nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous too. What do you think? It's big. <laughs> it's big. Wow. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> You're still Gabby. Yeah, for you. Just for me. This is for you. <laughs> Let you come to, with me to Germany and see my world. Yeah. Yeah? That's, yeah. Still monkey friends? Oh my <laughs> That's amazing. I was completely blank, if I'm honest with you. I just, like, everything inside of me just kind of just stopped. My heart stopped. He accepted that I'm Ksenia and that I, I am a princess, but he also said uh, that I'm, for him, Gabby, and that Gabby is my inside myself, and he saw that. For you never know it will, if it will become love or not. And Obviously, before I knew, I, I knew that we'd, we've got something genuine. Maybe things will progress, but we're worlds apart. I'm very, very, very pleased and happy that he can come to me, to Germany, and I can show him my world. I hold you. you hold I choose you, I hold you, I love you. Whoa! Oh. Amazing. <laughs> Big leave it in. Oh, my goodness. Last but not least, it's time for Cinderella to reveal to Paul that she is also a princess. Beautiful. Thank you. Thanks. Now, <coughs> you've always known me as Cinderella, the simple girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was to, to test you to see if you really love me or not. <laughs> My name's... Princess Shayla Cinderella Vanunje, a princess from the Buganda Kingdom. What do you think? <laughs> I still love you, like I said it. I'm sorry about the lies I've told you. Or I think like this morning, yesterday, the day before that, you see me. I can't stop loving you. <laughs> love is not about vanity and these things. Love is about caring. That's love. I don't care about anything else. Paul has accepted that Cinderella is a princess. But as she is not allowed to marry just anyone, their future together will not be easy. You've always told me 
You see me as your future wife. But I have to invite you back home. Because my power, my power has a limit when it comes to marriage. Somebody has to see you and then they see if they can accept you. This challenge is the most important challenge in my life. So what if they say no? I'll make them say yes. I fell in love with Cinderella, the person who she are, not what she have or what she could be. That's, that don't matter to me. I'm very pleased. I say, as much as I love you, I would not let you turn your back on your tradition or your tribe for me. See these shoes? I'm supposed to walk like this. <laughs> slowly, slowly. <laughs> <laughs> what what said Paul? He was really shocked. He said, I did not love you for, for the princess thing. But I told you! you. Oh. I loved you who you were. And you will always be a princess in my heart. Oh. What I told you before. Huh? I told you that. But when I said, when I mentioned that the decision of marrying him is not mine, yeah. mm -hmm. it is actually back home. He said, it is God who made us meet, so let's leave it for God. Yeah, that's, yeah, right. that's it. Exactly, try it out. Angela oh never said, I can go. I don't think I can ever find a man who is better than Paul. Truly, a man who will love me thinking I'm just a mere poor girl. So if my family tells me to leave Paul, then they should now never get married. Because I can never find a man who I'll accept that truly loves me, genuinely. So it's either Paul, it's nobody else. Today, the princesses are leaving the UK and returning home to their kingdoms for the last part of their adventure. Back home in India, it has always I have been helped by my servants and by my cousins. The first time I had to do everything on my own. Finally, my back is going to burst. Living undercover, Princess Ksenia has met Elliot and made some real friends. It's sad that I, I will miss the girls and so it's not a good feeling to go. And this is the first time in my life that I have real friendships for the people that like me for who I really am. Princess Alia hasn't found love, but her time in Essex has been life-changing. I think one thing which uh, helped me uh, while I was here is that I got, I regained my confidence, which had somehow taken a back seat. So that is one thing which I'm very happy about. Having fallen in love, Princess Shayla must now return home and leave Paul behind. It's not easy to take. But I will, I'll manage. I don't want to think about it. That I have to leave Paul. I pray for you and Paul and that will be happen. I promise it's just and then you come. <laughs> And then you come for the wedding. Yeah, I come for the wedding. <laughs> Ladies, I love you. I will never forget this time with you. I love you! We love you! <laughs> We are not just friends, we are like sisters now. So it's not, not easy to leave a sister. It's not easy to leave a friend. All the best to you and Paul. I love you. Love you too. Every moment was special for me. I'll miss everything, everyone. But I think we'll be very good friends. And I hope it is friendship to life. Princess Shayla is the last to leave, and Paul has come to say goodbye. Ah, oh boy. It's the hardest thing I could ever do right now is say goodbye. Take care. Love you too. Safe trip. Take care.
about home, I don't know what they will say about him. I'm just worried in what if they don't accept him. What will I do and, and more, what will he do? It's a tribe and they have certain rules about certain things and it's, it's a hard time ahead. I don't want to lose him and I don't want to lose my family as well. I need my family and I need Paul. So I'm in between, I'm confused. Next time in the final chapter of The Undercover Princesses. Elliot, Paul and Emma receive a royal welcome to the princesses' kingdoms. Hello! How are you? Will Princess Cassania and Elliot find love in Germany? In the first time, Elliot was uh, just a good friend. And now, it's more than just a friend, clearly. How will Essex girl Emma cope as an Indian princess? Will look like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> and will Princess Shayla and Paul's relationship withstand the pressures of royal life? This is Prince Malcolm, who's my elder brother. Even when Paul is introduced to the kingdom's prime minister. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine. It was an ambush. A real, real big ambush. I already planned to ask Shayla to marry me. We're just waiting for the right time. <laughs>